this video we are going to discuss more about uh, the steps of agriculture so last video we have seen karif crops and rabi crops so here we are going to see what are the steps involved in agriculture so both the rabi and karif crops farmers also follow the same steps here so in that steps if we see four step uh, seven steps are there preparing the soil sowing the seeds applying manure facilitating water weeding crop harvest and storing so suppose if we go to the to the preparing the soil the farmer have to prepare the soil before sowing the seeds so he have to see how the soil is there uh, either uh, how to add any manure or not like that he have to check the soil so after preparing the soil he goes for the sowing the soil here two things he uh, decides how is the quality of the seeds from where to get the seeds everything and coming to the applying manure after sowing the seeds so the plant or the crop grows to some extent then he applies the required manure and afterwards he facilitates water every time after applying manure he have to give water to the crop that process is called irrigation then afterwards he removes the weeds that process is weedling so weedling is nothing but unwanted or undesirable plants will be grown along with the crop so those has to be removed that process is weedling then harvest means finally after weedling again he keeps uh, water and finally the crop will be harvested so he uh, takes the product and how he store the product that will be going to see in storage so all these are the steps which are involved in agriculture now we will see how the soil is prepared the first step preparation of soil so in preparing the soil two more steps are involved so that is first ploughing the soil and leveling the soil so in ploughing the soil the farmer uses ploughs different types of ploughs for ploughing the soil he uses wooden plow and iron ploughs also wooden plow is attached to a wooden bar if we see the diagram it is like this so an wooden bar is there the hole where the farmer holds so this is the plow so this is the wooden plow so this is uh, the wooden bar where he holds and this is the iron one so he uh, holding this he will be ploughing the soil actually if we see the shape the shape of the plow is v shape when he is ploughing the soil the mark that is formed on the soil is a t shaped so that we have to remember here t shape is seen in the soil and v shape is the shape of the plow is v shape so these two are important here so mostly they ask for bits uh, these two and see here we didn't only one we can see but nowadays the farmers are using tractor plowers so in that tractor they fix uh, a plower machine which is consisting of eight needles of the plows so eight attached to that and the tractor will be going very fast and uh, the whole field is ploughed within a short span of time so it saves time so this is about ploughing why he ploughs the soil so uh, after harvesting the previous crop the soil will be very tight and uh, if we pour uh, if we give water or manure whatever it is unable to take so for that he has to plough the soil so ploughing will make the soil loose for easy passage of air and water so if the soil is loose it will be easy for the plants to absorb all the minerals uh, very easily and the plant grows very well so that is the reason why he ploughs so the soil becomes loosens by that air and water are easily penetrated into the soil so that is the reason why he ploughs second one is so in the process of ploughing only some of the farmers if it is needed the manure the fields manuring is also done here the first stage of manuring 
some farmers if they think manure is required for their uh, fields they give manuring also at the time of plowing next one is leveling so after plowing the soil becomes ups and downs so because uh, the shapes that are formed on the soil are t shaped the soil here formed is v shaped so uh, actually the shape of the um, plow if you see it is a uh, t shape so it is in the form of t and on the soil or in the soil the shape v is formed so while leveling what happens if the soil is v shape the soil will be ups and down so it is very difficult for the water to penetrate into the soil so for that he has to level the soil so for leveling he uses iron levelers these iron levelers are attached to the tractors and the whole field is leveled so this is the first step preparing the soil so second step we are going that is sowing the seeds once the soil is prepared the farmer uh, keeps water to the field and he sows the soil so coming to the sowing the soil here also few more uh, steps are there that we'll see here first he selects the soil sorry he selects the seeds so the seed must contain three characters the seed must be wrinkled free round and must have more weight so these three characters it, uh, the seeds have, must have so they must be wrinkled free round shape and must uh, have good weight so if these three characters are there the farmer will select those seeds and he sows in the soil so um, for this a small activity is there so in the houses also we can do that activity we can say by this whether the seeds are um, with good uh, condition or not so that uh, for that you take a small beaker which is having water take handful of seeds and pour in the beaker then after pouring into the beaker all the lightweight seeds wrinkled damaged seeds will be floating on the water and if you see good weight seeds round wrinkle free seeds all will be settled at the bottom of the beaker so this says that these are good seeds the other are not so like this he does before sowing the soil he uh, keeps all the uh, seeds in a bucket of water then all the good seeds he collects and he sprinkles so that is uh, the selection of seeds now sowing to the soil what he will do in the process of sowing the soil so here two methods are there one he manually by himself he sprays the seeds spraying of seeds that is called as broadcasting or he uses seed drills seed drills are the machines so a machine which contains four or five tube like structures and pipes will be there so all that uh, at the um, seed uh, the seed uh, drill will be like this so a small uh, structure will be there which is having connection with the tubes and all this fitting will be connected to the tractor here he pours the seeds through these seeds through this all the pipes the seeds will be falling while the tractor is um, going the seeds will be falling at the right place so it is a seed drill it will be like this broadcasting means spraying or the spraying or sprinkling sprinkling then sprinkling we have to use here spraying only spraying of seeds in with hand so that is broadcasting so in the two methods he uh, sows the soil so now what happens the seeds are grown to some extent so now here one more process he will do in this section only that is transplanting if you see paddy so most of the transplants we can see transplanting crop means uprooting the plant and placing it in another place so just to total plant he will uproots and he will be sowing in other place so while uh, broadcasting as he sp uh, sprays with the hand there is a chance for the seeds to fall in any of the place of the field so uh, 
uh, at one place many seeds will be growing at some place less uh, seeds will be growing means uh, at one place many plants grows at some place some plant grows very less plant so it will be difficult for the plants in um, which fall or which grow uh, it will be difficult for the plants to get sufficient amount of nutrients from the soil so for that what he will do he will uh, uproot all the plants and at uh, required rows and columns he plants replants them so that is called transplantation so in transplantation he uproots the sown uh, seeds with the plants and afterwards he will be placing in required uh, so like this uh, correct rows he will be planting those plants so entire crop he will do so this process is called transplanting and for this transplantation also transplanting machines are there so uh, all the plants not uh, loo we say no all narvaitam all that he will um, in telugu we call so they will pluck all those plants and they will place it uh, different um, rows required rows and columns so for this it will be easy so in one row all the plants are there so here the gap between two rows he can supply water so this is only called uh, madulu or uh, kayalu so madulu or uh, kadulu he prepares no kayalu madulu or kayalu so here he gives water and uh, here in the other uh, place where the soil is there here the crop grows so fields if we observe it will be like this so it will be easy even the farmer for walking and to check uh, how the crop is growing it will be easy at the time of manuring and it will be easy at the time of irrigation while spraying uh, uh, pesticides like that so like this he will do so all this gaps in between uh, two plant rows is called madulu or kayalu so transplanting helps like this makes the field like this so these are all uh, the two steps which are involved in sowing the seeds so in the next video we will see when he applies manure and how he applies manure thank you